So good morning, everyone. People, am I audible to all of you? Please tell me. We can go ahead then. <clears throat> I'm not visible, but I hope I'm audible to all of you. Just hold on for a while. Now you can reply, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. So uh, the signal, everything is great. Uh, we will start with some strategy part, and then we will go ahead and uh, talk about uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 concept part. Okay, so the strategy part is very important because many people they often ask me this question: Sir, should we attempt para jumbles? Uh, is it is it worth attempting para jumbles? All these kind of questions, you know, I keep on getting on WhatsApp from my students and other students. So I would like to first clear, uh, makes give you some clarity on uh, on whether to on what is what is the importance of para jumbles and if at all you attempt then what should be your approach to it so the very first thing is that the number of questions from para jumbles so para jumble is not just one topic para jumble along with it also gets you odd one out so don't take it as just one topic these are actually two topics with the same nature so if you are good here you should become good here as well on the other hand, if you are weak here, this also will become weak. You may get marks. Occasionally, you might get the questions correct. But these two things together go hand in hand. So my suggestion is that three questions from para jumbles plus two questions from auto now is equal to five questions. Correct? In five questions. And now if, if you look at last year's paper, then you may, we had eight questions from, uh, from VA. Out of these eight questions from VA, five came from PJ plus odd one out. So these together combined five questions and the other three questions came from uh, para summary. So this is PS. So PJ, PS plus odd one out are the three different varieties that we have in VA questions. Now, if you totally eliminate para jumbles, then the problem is that your odd one out also will become risky. You know, you may not become that good in odd one out. So three plus two, five is a big number because out of 24 questions, if you look at uh, at five questions, it is almost 20% of the paper, more than 20% of the paper. You can't leave 20% of your paper just by thinking that, you know, I'm not good at it. I don't say that you should get all the questions correct, but out of five, even if you manage two questions correct, then you have six marks. And if you're planning 30 marks in VARC at least, then one fifth of this mark has to come from VA. VA means what? One fifth has to come from para jumble and odd one out. That means six marks you should get from para jumble. And then because three questions come from three marks should get from summary. So para jumble, six marks, summary, para summary, para jumble plus para odd one out. So odd one out plus para jumble, six marks, para summary, three marks. So from the VA part, you should target 10 marks. And from the RC part, you should target 20 marks. This should be your breakup for 30 marks. If you're planning something more than that, you are very ambitious that from the VA part, you can target 12 to 15. And from the RC part, accordingly, you can target 24, 26. And then you can expect around score of, let's say, uh, on the higher end, you can expect a score of, so you three plus, uh, you know, six more, nine. So 40 around, you can get a score of 38, 40 around in the ARC. So you cannot get your entire score only from RC because it's going to be a very, very risky affair. There are 16 RC questions and max marks you can get in RC is 48. Max you can get 48. But none of us are so good as to get 48. So every negative that you get will bring your scores down. So suppose you attempt all the RC questions and in the best of the cases, if you get 12 correct, even in that case, you will get 30 marks only. Understand the risk part. If you attempt all the RC questions and you get only 12 correct, even in that case, you will get around 30, 32 questions, 32 marks, not more than that. So VA is will help you minimize at least your RC effort, at least in case if the RCs are very tough, then the VA can help you. And I have seen that in 20, um, since 20, 2019 or 2018, I would say the VA has been very easy. It's not been very, very difficult. 2017 VA was very difficult, but 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 50 percent of the questions are quite doable. So please remember that you cannot leave completely saying that I'm not good at it. I don't say that you attempt all the three para jumbles, you attempt all the two odd one out, but at least out of three you can try two, out of two you can try two, out of these four you can get two correct. Are you getting my point, people? 
वट इज द स्टोरी आउट ऑफ थ्री पैरा जम्बल्स ट्राई टू अटेम्प्ट है ना अटेम्प्ट का मतलब क्या होता है मैंने क्वेश्चन सॉल्व किया ठीक है अटेम्प्ट टू एंड राइट कितना होना चाहिए राइट तो सब होना चाहिए यार बट मान लो एक भी होता है तो सही है कोई खराब नहीं है अटेम्प्ट टू और दिस इज पैरा जम्बल दिस इज ऑड वन आउट अटेम्प्ट two questions attempt all to get get at least one correct so even if you do this you will get six marks some people might be very very smart enough they might attempt all the three they might get two correct and here they might attempt two and they might get two correct so in case some people might be lucky enough to get 12 marks you never know people that's why please don't leave para jumbles don't leave odd one out at least attempt i don't say attempt all attempt two questions Out of three para jumble, believe me, two are going to be doable. I will show you last year's paper. I have been solving last year's papers, and I have shown you that questions are quite manageable. There would be some trick here and there, but if you sail through that trick, if you if you catch that trick, then you will manage to get the question correct. Okay, so don't lose hope just because uh, you're not getting it correct in the exam. It's just a matter of one sentence falling here and there. That should not discourage you from. attempting the para jumbles and the odd one out in the exam because today one sentence is not falling in place on the day of the exam one sentence might fall in place and it's just a matter of one or two more correct and you are from 6 to 12 marks hai right? na the margins of error are very narrow but that is happens in all the exams and then the margins of errors are narrow so coming to the strategy part of it now i mean uh what makes a para jumble question look easy this is this is something i always tell people what makes correct what makes a para jumble or odd one out question look easy this is something that you have to always answer for yourself now for me there are a few things that makes a para jumble or odd one out question easy the first is i find the sentences this is for my case and i think it is it is applicable to almost all the students i find the sentences easy to read agar aapko sentences hi padhne mein dikkat ho rahi hai to aap shayad usko arrange nahi kar paoge to sabse pehli cheez hai when you look at the para jumble and you feel that the sentences are easy to read and not just one sentence at least out of four sentences there should be two or three sentences that should be easy to read if those sentences are easy to read then it is it is possible for you to arrange arrangement is possible only if the sentences are easy to read secondly i find the sentences easy to read the second is there are plenty of clues hai na ab main clues ki baat karunga aapse baad mein ye clues kya hota hai this becomes basically the point of the, the point of uh, kya bolte hain evidence i will i will tell you how to use हाँ, I will, I will tell you. So, पहला काम क्या करना है? I find the sentences easy to read. There are plenty of clues. Clues बताऊंगा क्या होता है. The third thing is, I can get the opening sentence quickly. अगर opening sentence ही नहीं मिल रहा है, this is applicable to para jumble, not to odd one out. Because odd one out में शायद आपको मिल जाएगा कि हाँ कोई भी open करेगा लेकिन ये बाहर जाएगा. I can get the opening sentence quickly. Because if the opening sentence does not come then the arrangement can never go ahead so it is very important that you can you should, you should you should get the opening sentence quickly there should be plenty of clues and you should find the sentences easy to read these are the three most important things that you have to keep in mind now i find the sentences easy to read well this cannot be this cannot be explained to you because when the sentence is easy to read it is easy to read there should be no difficult vocabulary there should be not much of complication in language all these things so easy to read ka matlab samajh mein aata hai sabko dusri baat hai ki there are plenty of clues so this becomes very important what do you mean by clues and if you mai bataunga kaise find karte hain opening dekho opening sentence nikalne ki apan koshish karenge i will take a few i will take a few examples from past year papers and i will show you how to find the opening sentence but before that keep in mind there are plenty of clues ye clues kya ho sakte hain ye is, is pe sab kuch depend karta hai aapka now clues mein pata hai sabse pehla sabse the most important clue is pronoun whenever you see any pronoun it means that this pronoun has to connect with some noun so this pronoun should raise a question mark and you must try to connect the pronoun with some noun that means the sentence that has the pronoun will connect with some sentence that has the noun in it 
सो द प्रोनाउंस विल हेल्प यू फॉर्म पेयर्स तो ये सबसे बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है दूसरी चीज जो मेरे लिए इंपॉर्टेंट होती है वो होता है कंजंक्शन सो वेन यू वेन आई से कंजंक्शन इफ द सेंटेंस स्टार्ट विद बट इट बिकम्स अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कनेक्शन लिंक बिकॉज यू के नॉट स्टार्ट बट डायरेक्टली जस्ट फॉर जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ स्टार्टिंग द सेंटेंस बट बेसिकली मीन्स दैट द आइडिया दैट यू आर गिविंग इन द सेंटेंस इज कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग विद सम अदर सेंटेंस इसका मतलब ये है इफ द सेंटेंस स्टार्ट विद बट that means it is connecting with something if the sentence starts with yet it is connecting with something if the sentence i mean i am just giving you example yes these are all contrasting conjunctions then there are adverbs adverbs kaise hote hain if the sentence has if the sentence has moreover hai na if the sentence has however if the sentence has additionally you know all these words show that the sentence is actually connecting with some other sentence जैसे मैं लिखता हूं भाई दिल्ली इज है ना दिल्ली इज क्वाइट पोल्यूटेड करेक्ट दिल्ली इज क्वाइट पोल्यूटेड फुल स्टॉप सिमिलरली सिमिलरली लेट्स से लेट्स से इस्लामाबाद इज एज पोल्यूटेड सो व्हेन यू सी द वर्ड सिमिलरली इट इंप्लाइज that there is some kind of similarity between this sentence and this sentence and also the word as shows that they are being compared so this word has not come for the sake of time pass it implies that the author has written something earlier suppose if i replace similarly with on the other hand then what will happen batao kya hoga when i replace similarly with on with with on the other hand to ye information kya ho jayega Don't you think the information will change? On the other hand, Islamabad is not so polluted. Yes or no? Because on the other hand means contrast. So if Delhi is quite polluted, then on the other hand basically means Islamabad is not so polluted. Or you might also use conversely. This may not make sense, but this makes more sense on the other hand. So you have to always understand. that there are words which offer clue to what is happening in the in the sentence and with which sentence is it going to connect kai bhi kai bar kya hota na connection banne se this becomes easy for many people so many a time you don't know whether how to open the sentence but you realize jaise aapne 1 2 3 4 dekha aapne opening nahi pakda lekin aapko ye malum pada ki 2 aur 4 pair hai once you read 2 and 4 together you realize 3 is the opening sentence so the opening sentence is a matter of realization it is not a matter of logic ki main kaise explain karu kaisa dikhta hai wo koi proof nahi hai na mere paas kitne aapne bahut sare mock likhe ho kitne mein aapko proof diya gaya ki opening sentence a hai no one gives you proof it is a basically a matter of matter of intuitive understanding to kai bar kya hota hai na ki you know that 2 4 is a pair you know that after 2 4 1 will make sense to aapne kaha ki three opening hoga क्योंकि सबसे अच्छा प्लेस यही है उसके लिए बाकी नहीं है सो इट इज नॉट दैट यू ऑलवेज प्रूफ दैट थ्री इज द ओपनिंग सेंटेंस यू सम हाउ फील दैट टू फोर इज अ पेयर आफ्टर टू फोर वन लुक्स गुड यू फील इट इज इट लुक्स गुड ऑफ कोर्स आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन वाई इट लुक्स गुड एंड देन यू विल से थ्री लुक्स बेट बेस्ट एट दी ओपनिंग नॉट एट दी एंड सो यू हैव टू नॉट ऑलवेज हार्ड कोर गो विथ रीजनिंग कैसे हो रहा है कैसे हो रहा है दैट्स द रीजन वाई मोस्ट ऑफ अस एम्फोसाइज ऑन रीडिंग क्योंकि जब जितना आप रीड करोगे ना उतना आपको पकड़ में आएगा कि क्यों ये ऐसा है एनीवेज दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी विल टेक लॉट लेटर बट द थ्री प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ पैराजंबल इज दैट द सेंटेंसेस शुड बी इजी टू रीड ओनली देन यू कैन कैटेगराइज इट एज एन इजी क्वेश्चन मे बी एन इजी क्वेश्चन एंड देयर शुड बी प्लेंटी ऑफ क्लूज कभी कभार क्लूज आपको फट से दिख जाएंगे यू विल सी अ प्रोनाउन यू विल सी ऑल दीज कंजंक्शंस ऑल दीज वर्ड्स मेनी मेनी मोर थिंग्स यू विल सी and secondly it would be very easy for you to find the opening sentence jitna jaldi hoga utna jaldi question ban jayega theek hai so ye sab to theory hoti hai i will just take a few very simple exercises for you people so that you understand ki ye kaam kaise karta hai jaise maine ye banaya tha bahut time pehle so i thought of taking it again today now you see these two sentences correct ab if i ask you the question that should a b or b a or are they disconnected what is disconnected koi connection nahi dono mein So what would you give me as an answer? Is A B a pair? Is B A a pair? Or are they disconnected? So the third option is are they disconnected? 
you tell me which one do you think is the right choice among the three if you have a reason there See, one thing you have to understand. Many people say, "Sir, although it starts with although is not a conjunction which is opening a new sentence." So I will just, I will just take a, a take. I will just uh, stop here for a while and I will tell you something. So here, see, look. People say, "Sir, although it starts with are, brother, look at this sentence now." That's why I studied grammar. Although I am rich, although I am rich, I am unhappy. Now, do you is this one independent sentence? Yes or no? Is this one independent sentence? Yes or no? But I am rich. Does this need support, or does this need support with some other sentence? ये अपने आप में स्टोरी खत्म हो जाती है कि नहीं ये बताओ मेरे को अपने आप में ये स्टोरी खत्म होती है कि नहीं ये स्टोरी खत्म हो रही है कि नहीं अपने आप में कौन सा स्टोरी खत्म लग रहा है आपको सेंटेंस ए या सेंटेंस बी विच स्टोरी इज कंप्लीट टू यू अपियर टू बी कंप्लीट सबको ए लग रहा है ना बी क्यों नहीं लग रहा है सही है ए इज अ कंप्लीट स्टोरी वाई इज बी नॉट अ कंप्लीट स्टोरी can can anyone tell me why is b not a complete story b is not a complete story because iske pehle kuch aaya hai wo pata nahi mere ko don't you think this needs a pair yes or no everyone agrees with me don't you think this needs a pair iska matlab ye opening sentence hoga kya ye opening sentence hoga kya kabhi nahi hoga क्यों नहीं होगा क्योंकि इसको कोई चाहिए जब तक वो नहीं मिलेगा तब तक ये आगे नहीं बढ़ेगा इस कैन दिस बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस यस इट कैन बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस इट कैन बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस भाई अपने आप में मीनिंगफुल है ना समथिंग इज इंडिपेंडेंटली मीनिंगफुल इट कैन बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस क्यों नहीं स्टार्ट कर सकते आप इससे बताओ मेरे को ऑल दो आई एम रिच आई एम अनहैपी दिस इज वॉट आई रियलाइज फॉर द पास्ट फाइव ईयर्स you don't need money to be happy so you can you can start the story from here and you can continue writing although i am rich i am unhappy this thing i realize in the past 5 years you don't need money uh, to be happy you need good friends and parents and good environment full stop paragraph khatam ho gaya mera kisne bola ki although shuru hone se sentence meaningful nahi hota hai that's the reason why i have been teaching you grammar but no one people forget grammar wo to yaad hi nahi rakhna apne ko कोई मुझे लिख रहा है कि सर ऑल दो शुरू हो गया अरे ऑल दो से क्यों शुरू नहीं हो सकता डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई दिस इज वन इंडिपेंडेंट सेंटेंस कैन बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस बिट दिस कैन नॉट बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस एवरीवन इज क्लियर अबाउट इट अ सेंटेंस कैन नॉट बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस बिकॉज इट डज नॉट मेक कंप्लीट सेंस इट नीड्स सम पार्टनर नाउ आई विल गो टू द अदर 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 शीट अब मैं आपको दिखाता हूं कैन दिस बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस नो आप सबने कहा कि सर ये जो है ना कैन दिस अलोन बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस नो इंस्टेड का मतलब ये होता है कि समथिंग हैज कम बिफोर एवरी वन अग्रीज विथ इट दिस बेसिकली मेक्स द सेंटेंस अनलाइकली टू बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस दिस ऑन द अदर हैंड मेक्स इट अ वेरी वेरी गुड ओपनिंग सेंटेंस एल्यूमिनियम इज द मोस्ट एबंडेंट मेटेलिक एलिमेंट इन दी अर्थ क्रस्ट बट इट इज नेवर फाउंड नेचुरली एज एन एलिमेंट सो दिस बिकम्स वन इंडिपेंडेंट आइडिया it is never found instead it is always appear so ye instead jo hai na isko justify kar raha hai are you getting my point this is what i call as clue clue ka matlab kya hota hai jisko aap use karke jodi bana sakte ho sabko samajh mein aa raha hai ki nahi jodi banana bahut zaruri hai to aage badhega nahi question everyone is clear about it ki maine instead ko pakda isliye pakda he instead shows some sort of replacement some sort of alternative this indicates alternative 
इफ दिस इंडिकेट्स ऑल्टरनेटिव इसका मतलब ये है कि एल्यूमिनियम इज द मोस्ट एबेंडन मेटलिक एलिमेंट बट इट इज नेवर फाउंड नेचुरली इंस्टेड तो बच्चा बोलता है बेटा ये नेवर के साथ ये इंस्टेड मैच हो जाता है आंसर बी ए होगा तो थोड़ा दिमाग की बत्ती जलाओ नहीं तो कुछ नहीं होगा कॉन्सेप्चुअली अगर खराब रहोगे यू माइंड प्रैक्टिस वन थाउजेंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ पैराजेंबल यू विल नॉट गेट अंगल क्वेश्चन इन करेक्ट इन दी एग्जाम बिकॉज यूर कॉन्सेप्चुअली वेरी वीक so that's the reason why as all of you suggested ba is a pair of course ba is a pair why can't ab be a pair because first of all it cannot be an opening idea you cannot start your paragraph with instead unless you are connecting it with some other paragraph always be conceptually clear so for this this a clue to me jo maine kaha tha na aapko clue hai ye ab aage badhte hain let's take similar kind of stuff and see how it works so main aage badhta hu bolta hu chalo bhai aage badhte hain स्मॉल स्मॉल सेंटेंसेस हैं बड़े कुछ भी नहीं है अब ये देखो सेकंड ट्राई मारो सेम ए बी बी ए और डिस्कनेक्टेड हाउ वुड यू गो ए बी और बी एंड टेल मी व्हाई बिकॉज यही आप एग्जाम में गलती करने वाले यू हैव टू गिव मी द रीजन व्हाई यू वुड गो विथ ए बी और बी ए एंड वॉट इज द लॉजिक बिहाइंड सबने ए बी ए बी कहा क्यों रीजन क्या है एक्चुअली कैन गिव मी द रीजन बिहाइंड इट सो व्हाट डू यू डू नाउ लुक एट दिस लुक एट द फनी पार्ट ऑफ इट अलोंग विथ As with all mining of metals, bauxite mining presents certain hazards. So can I say, आपने क्या कहा कुछ hazards हैं? Correct. It presents certain hazards. Have you described the hazards? No. So in the next sentence, you describe the hazard. Chief among them is omnipresent bauxite dust, which clogs machinery and lungs sometimes for miles around the mining site. So can I say these are the hazards or the dangers? Along with usual mining issues of degraded soil and polluted runoff, chief among them is omnipresent bauxite dust. So you say that I have, or I will, I will give a better, a better this, you know, a better. ठीक है तो आपने क्या कहा मुझे? I am facing, correct? I am facing many issues in VARC, correct? तो आपने कहा सर मुझे बहुत सारे issues हैं VARC. फिर आपने क्या कहा? Full stop डाल दिया. I don't get PJ's correct. Correct number one. I don't get accuracy in inference-based RC questions. Now these are three sentences that you have. Definitely, this would be an opening sentence. Everyone agrees, है ना? Because this is introducing your problem. I am facing many issues, and then you say issue number one, issue number two. This also can become issue number two, and this this can become issue number one. Correct? So if I have a sequence A, it could be B or C, or A, it could be C or B. Don't you think that these both make equal sense? Yes or no? But A is definitely the opening sentence in all the cases. So please understand this: that A is why because it says you have many issues, and then you go and describe the issues. On the other hand, if you describe the issues and then you say at the end, "I am facing many issues," it's basically pointless. You have described issue one, you have described issue two, or then you come and say, "I am facing many issues." अरे इश्यू जब समझा दिया मेरे को तब ये बोल के फायदा क्या किया 
This is the mistake most of you are making in parachutes. You describe C, you describe D, and C and D auto automatically means that A is A is definitely there. इसलिए मैं कई बार बोलता हूँ कि C D के आने से A का कोई sense नहीं बनता. A के शुरू आने से A के when A comes at the start, then C D makes sense. So this is one very very important milestone that you all have to keep in mind. So let's let's look at uh, one more question now. है ना मैं इसको नीचे करता हूँ. इसको देखो आप. Please tell me. Question number three. Why would you choose? Which would which would you choose an opening sentence and why? So, जो आप बोल रहे थे ना सर मुझे opening sentence बड़ी दिक्कत हो रही है तो this is basically answering your question. A क्यों नहीं होगा opening sentence B क्यों होगा या B क्यों नहीं होगा A क्यों होगा? Okay, the Janissary is where, correct? So before you describe Janissary music, you should say who these Janissaries are. Yes or no? So the ideal way would be that you say that the Janissaries were these people, and this is what they used as a musical element. Don't you think that B A makes more sense? Everyone feels that. See, you might say, sir, why can't I start with this? It can, it is a very easy question to ask. ऐसा क्यों नहीं होगा? अरे होने को कुछ भी हो सकता है यार. But understand, Janissary music and kettle drums. ठीक है भाई Janissary music आपने मेरे को बोल दिया. Now when I when I when I listen to your statement, I would ask you, okay, but what is Janissary? You make the first statement. I I I I I I listen to the first statement, and then my question would be, what is Janissary? Can you explain that to me? तो आपने कहा कि जैनसरी इज वेर एन एलिट कोर ग्रुप हुज म्यूजिक वॉज पर्टिकुलरली सूटेड सो द लॉजिकल वे वुड बी दैट यू टेल मी हुर द जैनसरीज एंड द स्पेशलिटी अबाउट देम वॉज दैट देयर म्यूजिक वॉज सूटेड एंड ऑफकोर्स देयर म्यूजिक हैड दीज दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स इन दैम सो इट मेक्स बी ए मोर लॉजिकल यू माइट गो एज अ राइटर एनी वेर इन दिंग येस ए इज गिविंग यू अ डीपर इलेबरेशन ऑफ वॉट द म्यूजिक वॉज ऑल अबाउट येस और नो ए गिवस यू a deeper elaboration of what the music was all about so you introduce the janissaries you say that they were elite core they were turkish turkish soldiers and their music was particularly suited and then you go ahead and say what their music was completely yes or no so any guy out of see there is no mathematical logic to it but 90% people would say that ba makes more sense than ab as a writer yes or no to ye chote chote clues ko pakadna seekho these are very very simple sentences tomorrow in para jumbles you will have two more sentences you will make the same mistake clear to all of you people i hope now you are able to say that why one sentence acts as an opening sentence and the other comes in sequence and this is all about practice people ha the janissaries jo hote hain na dekho the ka matlab kya hota hai see when you say what is janissary See this the article has come because this refers to a specific set of people. जैसे हम लोग मुगल्स के बारे में बात करेंगे. The Mughals were known for their, है ना? Were known for their splendid architecture. So when you say the Mughals, you basically refer to a Uh, a, a a group of people or rulers or ethnic group so jani the janissaries basically refers to a specific group of something so in that case the can make sense completely please try the same thing in which order should they come b a a b
Everyone, A, B, right? How? Are they disconnected? Because there is also the option of, of, of disconnection. For years, a great many political scientists have been puzzled by what appears to be the most basic of all political questions. Why vote? The puzzle, correct? So many of you might be wondering, sir, ye the puzzle matlab, koi to puzzle ki baat ho rahi hai. Yes or no? Without introducing the puzzle, how can you start with B? Can I say that B is not going to be the opening sentence? Samaj mein aara hai ki nahi? Anything. So if you ask me, ki bhai opening sentence kaisa hota hai? The one that looks incomplete, theek hai? The one that looks incomplete or abrupt or haphazard ये है फेजर्ड है द वन का मतलब क्या है द सेंटेंस ठीक है इसको मैं ऐसे लिखूंगा द सेंटेंस दैट लुक्स इनकंप्लीट दैट लुक्स अब्रप्ट दैट लुक्स हैफेजर्ड कैन नेवर बी एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस समझ में आया सबको यस और नो रादर देन सेइंग व्हाट इज एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस यू शुड से व्हाट इज नॉट एन ओपनिंग सेंटेंस नेगेशन कैन आल्सो बी अ वे ऑफ डेफिनेशन राइट सबको समझ में आ गया मुझसे पीपल हैड आस्क मी दिस डाउट एट द स्टार्ट कि सर ओपनिंग सेंटेंस क्या होता है मैं बोलता हूं ओपनिंग सेंटेंस क्या नहीं होता है सो यू ऑलवेज गो विद द एलिमिनेशन वे वो ओपनिंग सेंटेंस टू नहीं होगा फोर नहीं होगा थ्री नहीं होगा वन पक्का होगा इसका मतलब क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू तो यहां पर क्या हो रहा है यू स्टार्ट विद ए राइट यू से दैट फॉर इयर्स अ ग्रेट मेनी पॉलिटिकल साइंटिस्ट हैव बीन पजल्ड बाय व्हाट appears to be the most basic of all questions so they have been puzzled by something and what is the puzzle the puzzle is why vote this is the puzzle yes or no and the puzzle refers to this puzzle so the puzzle comes first and then you keep on using the puzzle for this question all the time everyone agrees that ab is a pair no doubt about it so this is the way you start with minor small things and from small thing you go to bigger things that's why conceptually you have to be very very sound otherwise nahi banega answers चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं जल्दी जल्दी अभी तीन क्वेश्चन तीन सेंटेंसेस हैं नाउ अर्लियर वी हैड टू सेंटेंसेस नाउ वी हैव थ्री सेंटेंसेस प्लीज टेल मी व्हाट इज द ऑर्डर फॉर थ्री सेंटेंस दिस इज अ पैराजेंबल क्वेश्चन वन सेंटेंस इज लेस प्लीज टेल मी हाउ वुड यू गो अहेड विद दिस बीसीए कैसे होगा बी तो इंट्रोडक्टरी है ना बी पक्का ओपन करेगा व्हाई बिकॉज द फोर मोस्ट सेलिब्रेटेड लिविंग फॉर्स कैन आई से दीज आर गेटिंग इंट्रोड्यूस्ड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम so b is the opening sentence all of you agree and why should a come first and then c come next iska kya sequence hai the lamp shell is part of an older even older lineage to so, ye older kaise even older lineage ये इवन ओल्डर करना पड़ेगा ना जस्टिफाई अपने को वाई द वर्ड इवन ये इवन क्यों आता है बताओ मेरे को वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिहाइंड द वर्ड इवन कैन एन इवन टेल मी माई फ्रेंड हैज स्कोर्ड 
98 percentile in cat. I have done even better. Yes or no? So now this even basically means that you are comparing yourself with this guy. So the lamp shell, a member of the phylum Brachypoda, is part of an even older lineage. That means this even older is, is being compared with someone. Now this comparison is not in B, because what do you say in B? The four most celebrated are A, B, C and D. That's it. So no one is old or young in this. But here we have, a, here we have the young guy. The horseshoe crab is the relative youngster of the group, belonging to the Jurassic period. Correct? So this is the group and Horseshoe is the youngster of the group because this is the group. And then you say that the lamp shell uh, is part of an even older lineage. That means in comparison to 200, it is even older and that is 400 million years old. So in my opinion, B say C, pe jau, C say A. Pe jau. Clear to all of you? Ye hai, isko bolte hai, adverb. Even older is an adverb. It can be tricky, but dekho, this is how you learn, you know. You have to be, you have to have a very keen eye. Sixth ka dekho, jara. everyone please try. Decide the right order. Please take the sixth question. This is very easy. Huh? This is what we mean by an easy stuff. Easy stuff. Recording share Kalunga people, don't worry. The recording will get ready right away. I will share it on all the groups. Up recording be deco bad kit. Okay. Is cancer kyoga, sixth cancer kyoga. BA hoga, very easy. Everyone agrees why it is BA. Can you tell me? The history of cricket in Australia dates to 1803 when the game was introduced by the crew of a British ship. The history of cricket in Australia dates to 1803 when the game was introduced by the crew of a British ship. And the game was introduced, so the first was played in 1851. Don't you think the game was introduced in 1803? The first match was played in 1851. In fact, the, the dates itself make it very clear. What about this one? And tell me the clue that shows that there is a connection. Which clue do you think you have used? R also. Yes or no? Do you see this? Can I say they are pairing with, with they are pairing with one another? Everyone agrees? See, look at this. This is what we call as intelligent reading. Achha bachha for se dekh leta hai. Humans aren't the only ones. There are many more. So suppose if you get 100 percentile in cat and there are 16 100 percentiles, how would you say? What, what would you say to your parents? I am not the only one who has got 100 percentile. There are even more. So humans aren't the only ones tested for illegal drugs. Horses competing in the equestrian events are also scrutinized. Now the meaning of equestrian or not is irrelevant. Is ka matlab pata ho ya na pata ho kya farak padne wala hai. Don't you think that this is this doesn't make this 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 makes no difference to your getting the answer correct. So sometimes you should understand that th there are difficult words. Equestrian ka matlab hota hai pertaining to horse, horses. Okay, the word meaning of the word equestrian, equest uh, equestrian, hai na? means pertaining to horses. But even if you don't know the meaning of the word equestrian, you will still get the question correct. Okay, let's go ahead now. Decide the order. A, B, B, A, kya hoga? Eight one. Yes.
All of you agree? BA? Properly understood analogical and metaphorical thinking are not merely ornamental aspects of language, but serve as a bridge from the known to the unknown. Now, many of you might ask that, okay, uh, sir, correct, correct. You base scientists have long acknowledged the power. Okay, this is something that is an observation, right? Yeah, and this is basically the reason behind that observation. Yes or no? Known to the unknown. Ye kaam kaun karta hai? Who goes from known to unknown? Scientists or detective. Correct? Yes or no? So can I say that scientists have long acknowledged the power of metaphor because analogical and metaphorical thinking are not merely ornamental, but serve as a bridge from the known to the unknown. That's the reason why it has it, 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 it appeals to scientists. So assertion or observation is given and basically the elaboration or the reason behind it is elaborated in A. Therefore, BA is correct. Everyone agrees with it. They have long acknowledged this because of this reason. You introduce the power or you introduce what is, you introduce the words metaphor and analogy and then you go and describe that met analogical and metaphorical thinking is basically this. Clear to all of you? Yes or no? Shall we go ahead? Ninth one, very easy. Achha, achha, sorry, sorry. Uh, we have three sentences here. Eight minute, three sentences here. So take, take, take A, B, and C all together, all three together. How do you ACB? Photography developed its own independent exhibition system, arguably out of necessity, since it was excluded from 19th century style of accepting the Paris Salon of 89. So they were excluded from salons, right? So they were excluded from salons, so they have to do something. It was excluded from 19th century salons. As a result, photographers had established their own salons. Correct? As a result, they established their own salons because they were so, you will put A and then you will put C, correct? And then these new photographers created. So you have AC as a pair, we will only come at the end. Don't go for too much of justification. AC pair ban gaya na, yahan pe B nahi aayega, to usko end mein dal ke khatam karo. Don't do over reasoning. Over-reasoning can kill your time and also your energy. 
and it actually starts destroying your confidence. Now we have four sentences. Now please try the tenth question. Now you are an actual actual cat like question. Please try. And you should get this right now. Now look at this word. This word shows that this is not the opening sentence. This cannot be an opening sentence. You can't have, of course, in an opening sentence. That means only B or D can be an opening sentence. Yes or no? Aren't we following the process of elimination? Ye nahi hoga. Ye bhi nahi hoga. Ye ho sakta hai. Ye ho sakta hai. The vast majority of human beings are at least to some degree pro-social. Social ka matlab kya hota hai? Mingling with people. So this pro-social can become an opening sentence. Hai na? In the right circumstances, we can be counted on to make modest personal sacrifices to follow ethical rules and avoid harming others. Ho sakta hai. Hmm? How would you go with this? So B is an opening sentence. There is no doubt about it. But now you have to put the others in place. Now this contrast is with which sentence? Yeah, however, however is contrasting word, right? It contrasts with sentence. C, right? C A is a pair. All of you agree? See a pair, hai na? of course, it is easy to doubt pervasive pro sociality when, when reading the daily news. We should remember, however, that cheating, corruption, and murder make the news because they are rare. Everyone agrees that CA is a pair. Now, the point is that D becomes a critical factor now. Either it will come here or it will come here, right? All of you agree? A and D, the, I'm not saying what is the answer. I'm saying that we have put B and C in place. Now we'll decide D kaha pe aaya. Thik hai? Whether D will come after B or whether D will come at the end. Thik hai? Now people, please understand. There is one golden rule. Put similar ideas together. Yes or no? Always put similar ideas together. This is very, very solid. Always put similar ideas together. This is very, very critical. Anna? So now you know that D placement becomes very important. This will decide your answer. Now, the vast majority of human beings are at least to some degree pro. This means what is the pro-social? What is the meaning of pro-social? Pro means pro expert. This means for pros and cons. Hota hai na? So, in the right circumstances, we can be counted on to make sacrifices, follow ethical rules, and avoid harm. When would you do all these things? When you are pro social? Yes or no? Vast majority of human beings are at least to some degree pro social. They are to some degree pro-social in the right circumstances. We can be counted on. We, we can be counted on to make you are pro-social, and therefore you can be counted on to make modest personal sacrifices. So the way you went with the word, देखो आपने क्या किया पता है क्या? What most of you did? You people thought that यहाँ pro-social है, यहाँ है चिपका दो साथ में. यानी यही काम किया ना चिपकाने वाला. चिपकाने वाला काम कितने लोगों ने किया? यहाँ पे ये यह है, यहाँ पे ये यह है. चलो B C बन गया pair, है ना? 
दिस इज नॉट ऑलवेज द राइट वे है ना देखो क्या होता है पता है क्या यू माइट गो फ्रॉम बी टू सी एंड देन यू गो टू ए दिस इज नॉट अ बैड वे दिस इज ऑल्सो वैलिड बट डी यहां पर आने का कोई सेंस नहीं बनता मेरे I don't doubt BC as a unit, but after that D does not make sense to me. यहाँ से आने में यहाँ अच्छा लगता है क्या आपको? Don't you feel like vomiting? We should remember that cheating, corruption make the news because they are rare. In the right circumstances, we can be counted on. अब ये मेरे को समझ में नहीं आ रहा क्या चल क्या रहा है यहाँ से? How many of you feel unhappy? <laughs> See, understand this. Many many of of you you said BCA, I agreed. Many, some of you, we think BCA koi problem nahi. BCA makes sense, but after that D should not come. That is a problem. That means D should have a better place. Uske liye kya hai? B D C A. You are pro-social. You can be counted on. Of course, it is is it doubt. So B D is one part of the story. Doubting it of doubting of that is the other part of the story. This is how it goes. Clear to all of you? so don't be in a rush because only when you are in a rush you get easy questions incorrect the examiner will not give you overly difficult questions he will give you questions in which you are likely to go wrong so there is always a deception going on how are we connecting how are we connecting ca ca however se connect ho raha hai na it is easy to doubt pervasive pro sociability जब आप न्यूज पढ़ते हो ना तो आपको लगता है हर जगह पे मर्डर हो रहा है ये हो रहा है बट आपको याद रखना चाहिए कि ये न्यूज में इसलिए आते हैं क्योंकि रेयर होते हैं समझ में आए कि नहीं इट इज इजी टू डाउट द सोशबिलिटी वेन यू रीड द न्यूज बट दे मेक इट टू द न्यूज बिकॉज दे आर रेयर तो हाउ एवर इज कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग दीज टू आइडियाज ये सोनो समझ में आए कि नहीं देखो ये हाउ एवर का पर्पज क्या है कॉन्ट्रास्ट करना it is easy to doubt pro sociability while reading the news you should remember however ab samajh mein aaye ki nahi dekho it is easy to blame your teacher <laughs> for your poor vrc marks है ना इट इज इजी टू ब्लेम योर टीचर फॉर योर पोअर वी आर सी मार्क्स यू शुड है ना यू शुड हाउ एवर रिमेंबर है ना यू शुड हाउ एवर रिमेंबर दैट योर टीचर जॉब is not to guarantee good marks hai ki nahi theek hai it is easy to blame your teacher for your poor vrc marks you should however now why am i writing however because here you are blaming me nevertheless it is not his job to guarantee good marks so that's this contrast is 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 why i have used the word however theek hai <laughs> i hope i am just using it uh, to to give you a stronger a better usage of however clear to all of you now why this has come because it is contrasting with this statement theek <laughs> hai so uh, it is easy to doubt pervasive pro sociability because abhi dekho aap akhbar kholte ho morning mein in the morning when you open the newspaper you will see that someone has been murdered someone has been uh, you know robbed someone has been attacked so you start doubting that the world is changing for the worst the author says you should remember however that these things make it to the news because they are rare so this is a positive information this is a negative information and that's the reason why the however however has been used as a contrasting point clear to all of you now i hope i am i have made my point clear now let's go to the next one theek hai only two questions more theek hai 11th lete hain last question le lete hain theek hai so it is one hour session one hour power packed session koi masti nahi koi mazak nahi chalo question lo
it's a very, very easy question, people. You should not make this mistake. It's difficult to read because the sentences are long. But if you if you look at the sentences, uh, they are very easy. They can they are gettable. CDBA, all of you. What is decree? Can anyone tell me the meaning of the word decree? Yes. What is decree? A strict order by by a dictator or monarch. Okay. A strict order. A democratic government, you will never have a decree in a democratic government. Are you getting my point? In a democratic government, you will never have a decree. A decree will always be there when you have a monarch or a dictator. So where do you see this decree? Yes, people. Where do you see this decree? In which sentence? Don't you see? Correct. So can I say B A is a pair? C is the opening. So D will come after C. In ancient times, the country which we now call Crimea was known by the name this. It was colonized. It can refer to what? Crimea. C D B A. Everyone agrees with it? Quite manageable, I would say. So look, karna kya? Look, people understand this. Parajambles you may not get correct in the exams. You might be missing just by one sentence. But as long as you are finishing the question within two minutes, understand this. This is a very, very important golden rule that all of you have to keep in mind. Okay? See, as long as you are finishing your Parajumble and odd one out in 120 seconds. You should not worry much about the accuracy. This is very important. Huh. As long as you finish your PJ odd one out in in, in 120 seconds, in less than 120 seconds. Okay, 120 seconds. I mean, I'm not saying that you attempt all the five questions, get all five incorrect, and don't worry about it. If you attempt five and you get all five incorrect, then you, you do, should do something about it. But I believe that if you are a decent student and you get the easy questions correct, out of five, you will be able to answer it. हां वही डिक्री नहीं डिक्री का तो मतलब देखो यार तुमने गलती पता है कहां की गलती की है डिक्री के मतलब से नहीं यहां पे दिस दिया हुआ है ना तो ये ओपनिंग में कैसे आएगा दिस डिक्री मींस देयर इज अ प्रोनाउन सो इट रेफर्स टू सर्टेन नाउन इट कैन नॉट कम एट द स्टार्ट सीडी विल कम एज अ पेयर सीडी पेयर है ना देयर वाज अ प्लेस इट वाज कॉलोनाइज्ड बाय ग्रीक सेटलर्स तो सीडी पेयर बन गया ना and there was a goddess by the name by the name Artemis. The worship of this Taurian Artemis. So this Artemis is Taurian Artemis. So C is D and B is A. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. C, D, B is a sequence. Yes, A will not come at the start. Correct, correct, correct. Your logic is correct. Start will come at the end. Logic don't go into a very minute logic of while while you are solving the question in the exam. You know, how I would do this in the exam. In ancient times, 
the country Crimea was known by this name. It was colonized. But laga do chipka do. You should be quick. And these once you read like a story, fraud ban jata hai. So the point I'm trying to make is that para jumbles sahi tab honge jab wo aap easy question pakroge. Difficult para jumbles ka probability bahut low hota hai right hone ka. And I see that in CAT exam, out of three questions in para jumble, there are at least there is one easy and there is one average. So you can manage two questions correct, or at least one. So your pakka sahi hoga exam. You should know which that question is. Every question counts. Believe me. Two questions basically means a difference of nine marks because negative bhi to hota hai na yar RC or RC mein. So you still have enough time. You can put up a good fight. And get this done. ठीक है? चलो that's all for today. कल मैं आपको odd one out कराऊँगा. वो पढ़िया वाले cat के पुराने questions पकड़ता हूँ मैं. So that you do the odd one out as well. And I, you will see कि कैसे para jumbal odd one out are two sides of the same coin. कोई फर्क नहीं दोनों में. In fact, odd one out is less cumbersome than para jumbal because para jumbals में आप पूरा काम करना पड़ता है. Odd one out में तो वो यार pairing की जरूरत ही नहीं है. ठीक है, ये भी है तो ये भी साथ में है तो ये भी साथ में तो ये बाहर जाए सेम टाइम सेम टाइम साढ़े ग्यारह बजे बैठ जाऊंगा मैं ठीक है चलो गुड गुड बाय एवरीवन आई विल शेयर द लिंक आई विल शेयर द लिंक राइट अवे एंड यू कैन वॉच द रिकॉर्डिंग थैंक यू बाय